Hey, welcome back to my garage. It's been a while since I've turned anything. Just been super busy with other other stuff going on. But uh, before I get back to turning bowls again, I wanted to give turning a vase another try. So I got this piece of tea tree that's been drying out for just over six months that I got between centers. I'm gonna start by uh, turning it into a cylinder and see if I can make my daughter another vase. Like a half inch tenant dovetailed, roughly 13 degrees for those power grip jaws. Anyhow, obviously I got some more rounding out to do, but I just got to had to tie up this uh, button up this tenant before I move forward. Almost there. It's interesting open, open grain, um, but it is very dry so far, at least on this out, these outer layers. So we'll just keep continuing till we get it perfectly round. There's a couple lines, not perfect, but doesn't need to be. Quite a few <coughs> branches. I'll have to look, maybe throw some glue in there. But other than that, no cracks. It's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna get this flipped around in the power grip jaws and we'll start on the base. Okay, got it flipped around in the jaws. And you can see perfect, perfect tight fit. Anyhow, I had to take a break for a little bit because I was coughing too much. Uh, must be must be something with this wood. So anyhow, I'm gonna uh, shut up, get back to turning this vase and wear this uh, wear this mask. So anyhow, we'll see how this outside takes shape. Stepping, double jugs, turning at 680.
place I picked to do this. <laughs> it was three branches, three little knots. I'd like to turn that out, but I'll just keep working away at it. Starting to take shape. I'm going to curve this a little more. I was hoping to get rid of this. This will be a little smaller bead, but gosh, I just wish I didn't have all these knots here. No, keep at it, bring it back. Good surface. Out of practice with the skew chisel, even though I did a vase the last time. Don't use it with bowls, so gotta keep working on it. Anyhow, I got this pretty much how I want it. I just have to clean up a little bit more. There was some wetness inside, so I'm gonna, and there's a crack here, so I'm gonna fill these knots and this crack with CA glue. Uh, finish tidying this up with the skew chisel very lightly so I get a good surface like this and then I'll come back tomorrow hollow out the middle. Got a nine inch vase, three inches wide here, just over three inches, inch and a half wide here. I still got some surface sanding, obviously, to clean up CA glue spots and that. But uh, we'll be back here. Drilled uh, with up to a one inch Forstner bit, eight inches deep. So now I'm gonna turn uh, 680 and just use the carbides to hollow it out as best I can. And uh, I'll shape the rim at the very last one, or right now, but uh, start hollowing this out. just a little boring so I, sh I actually have to do this outside first so I can reach in there but uh, I'll bring it back as I'm finishing up the hollowing process.
cracks for me to fill. Hopefully you can see. I got the shape. Not too bad with the carbide. A little bit wet inside still. So I'll sand it tomorrow. But yeah, let's get this dust out of here. Fill these cracks. <sighs> yep, looking good. I think it's ready for sanding tomorrow. Okay, welcome back. It's been a few days and I'm finally back in the garage ready to sand this. Um, the outside I'll sand up to 600. Um, it's so, the skew chisel left it so smooth that I'll probably go start at 180, 180, 240, 320, 400, and 600. The inside I got my dowels, um, 120, 220, and 120 on, 120 on this, on this drill. So I'm going to do that, turn this at uh, just over 400 RPM and get the inside, get those two grits. Let's get the fan on. So that reaches all the way down to the bottom, as will this dowel. Um, so like I said, inside will be just 120 and 220. Outside I'll bring it back when I'm up to 600. I've already kind of done 600, but that's what I was doing just to show you. The inside and outside, I'd go over it by hand and then put it on the drill, switch it to reverse, and go over it again. So, pretty much, it's glass smooth. I'm gonna move you over here. Absolutely. You know, it's got the cracks I filled, but pretty close. Being flawless. Just gotta clean this dust off. And it'll be ready for a finish. All right, I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, but I got some Zinzer shellac based uh, sanding sealer for tonight. I'm gonna do two coats of this. Oh man, I hope that shows up. I had no idea what to expect. This, uh, I think the official name is Maluka or something like that, but this paper bark or tea tree, man, that's pretty cool grain in there, in the heartwood. Anyhow, I'll use my dowel to get it on the inside. I'm gonna use a Axe abrasive paste and wax, uh, tomorrow on the outside. On the inside, I'll probably just uh, soak a rag and, and uh, use tried and true original wood finish for the middle. Anyhow, I won't make you watch me put it in with the dowel, but let me see if I can show you this. Pretty nice grain. Interesting, huh? Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow with the abrasive paste. Okay, I used the dowel to spread some tried and true original wood finish down into the hole. Just put a brax ax abrasive paste on, so time to rub it in.
two coats of the, of the abrasive paste and then we'll move on to the wax. It's beautiful. Just had to generate the heat for that wax. Look at that shine. I'm going to continue parting this with a slight concave angle and then saw, saw it the rest of the way. I lied, I'm going to part it off and try to catch it. I didn't screw it up. All right, I'm back with the finished vase. <laughs> Came out beautiful. Nine inches tall, uh, inch and a half at the thinnest, just over three inches at the thickest drilled down eight inches so it's a nice heavy base you can see where i filled a couple cracks with ca glue as well as the knots on the side like right there but it came out absolutely beautiful wanted to experiment with another vase and very happy with how it turned out tea tree Never had used this type of wood before, but it's definitely, definitely pretty. Nice green. Anyhow, if you, if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I'll get back to turning more bowls here very soon. Thanks for watching.